Where do our mountains go? Man, it's a foggy morning out this morning, guys. Yes, it is. Good morning. Good morning, boss. What are we doing today? We are going to do another mulch job. Yes. So. And maybe mow some, it just depends. Yeah, if this fog lifts, I mean, right now, it's not mowing weather. And it's almost 10 o'clock. I know we did a good morning already, but... Yes. Hello, beautiful people. <laughs> yeah, hello. We're out here on this. It's going to be 72 today, I think, boss. Yes. I We're... guess I should say hello, happy people. Hopefully you guys are happy. I mean, yeah. we try to be, for the most part. Yeah. Oh, the neighbor got a fence put up. Oh, look at that. So we're here mulching this one. This should be, shouldn't take us that long. Um, Rachel's going to, I guess, go around and clean out the yes. stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I gotta spade the beds. Um, we're gonna mow this one first just to give it a touch up. It's not that long. This is one of our full service clients. Like yeah. everything we do for Now them, the back's so. probably longer than the front. The front for some reason does not grow that long. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Do you guys get tired of seeing the same properties over and over and over again? But that's our life. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well. Yeah. But, okay, let's get to work, boss. Okay. We got a lot to do here. I know, we do have a lot to do. Full schedule. Rachel's cut. Rachel's mowing, I mean, blowing all the leaves out of here. Here's the beds we're going to be doing and we're redoing, and we're going to be cutting the grass too. But all right here, all along here. Man, this grass is long. It looks nice too. All around here, right here. And up front. Oh my gosh. So Rachel tied up the grasses, right? Yeah, so I taped them. I think tape I think tape is the easiest yeah. to do this with because then you can get around it and make sure. And they are small grasses. So. Yeah, so these are ornamental grasses and if they were somewhere else I wouldn't be cutting them back like this yeah they're right on the walkway they're so kind of in the walkway so which we planted here but i have the sniffles yeah so she's gonna go ahead and hack them down with the one there you go one last one. And oh. there's one in the back, too. Oh, yeah, there's one over here, too. And you don't have a mess, right? Yeah. When you do it like that. Okay, I'm gonna go spade this other side and then I'll blow this off.
Okay, Rachel's gonna work on mulching these two here. I'm gonna spade this, even though it has an edge, I wanna go a little deeper. We made these beds and it was so rocky the one year we couldn't go too deep. So I'm gonna go a little bit deeper on these beds. Um, and the grass is looking nice and I'll get me mowing the back of this here. So we've been at it for an hour and a half. We got just to the playground mode. I still got to mow the hill in the back there, but uh, I'm trying to stay ahead of Rachel with spading and stuff. We got all this done up here. Um, so about, yeah, about an hour and a half. This up here, we mowed the lawn, edged everything. I got to blow everything off real quick, but we're going to go get more mulch. And then Rachel showed you over here what we got done. Now that bush, it was smaller than the other ones. That's why it's not out as far. But it'll come in eventually. Okay. So we're back. We're back. I took some allergy medicine because, man, either I have a cold or or allergies already. We did start mowing the other day, and that's when it started. So yeah, we'll see if the allergy medicine her helps, right, Rach? Yeah, hopefully. hopefully it helps. Yeah. They canceled our daughter's trip to D.C. in two weeks because of the virus. Right, boss? Yeah, so... And we imagine they're going to cancel our other daughter's trip that she's supposed to do mountains to sea all the way across Carolina to Myrtle Beach, unknown uh, to uh, Outer Banks mm -hmm. for school. So we're imagining they're going to cancel that too because of the virus. So we probably should have mentioned this before. And we were asked a couple weeks ago, you know, what we would do um, if they told us that we had to quarantine you know, because of this virus and um, it would hurt. Yeah, it would definitely, coming out of winter, a lot of you guys, it would hurt. Uh, coming out of win winter, you know, winter's hard to begin with and you save up for a winter fund and come out of winter and say this stuff spreads and they start telling people to stay out. People, mm -hmm. the economy goes down, you have less work. So yeah, it would, it would, over the next few months, if things started slowing down dramatically and we couldn't do stuff, yeah, it would probably bankrupt a lot of people, to yeah. be honest with you. So, you know, what have we done uh, to try to cut down our exposure a little bit? You know, obviously, I um, make the children because we're in flu season anyway. So this is not just for this virus. This is just practicing safe and precautionary <coughs> measures um with all the time yeah you know you should especially because in in our type of business you know we are in and out of the post office you know pretty much everywhere people probably yeah. think i'm weird but i open the door with my sleeve on yeah. my shirt i don't touch the doors public restrooms i mean so you absolutely should be washing your hands um you know and just be practicing safe measures you know obviously change your clothes when you get home from a large gathering and this is worse than the flu guys i mean yeah. it's not affecting young people kids and young people but for the older population it's way worse than the flu so. well and it's just a little scary because it's just so new i think this this strain of coronavirus yeah now coronavirus is not new this is just this um um, strain whatever so, the COVID just like there's different flu whatever. strains and stuff like that yeah but we're no scientists no we're not and we're not experts and we're not trying to say that and you know this is a little i guess you will look at this as a little controversial um but i you know we're not doing this to harp on it's our everyday even, life i mean yeah. it's something that we're gonna have to deal with going forward and mm -hmm. you guys whether whether you believe that it's no big deal or not, you might have to deal with it. I'm hoping that the people who think it's all blown out of proportion, it's no big deal. I'm hoping you're right. Yeah. I'm hoping it doesn't spread. Yeah. Because if it does, it's the older population that gets hit hard. The yeah. 50, uh, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 year olds and 
So this is just a time to, you know, practice those safe precautionary measures, like I said, with hand washing, changing your clothes, all Covering that your stuff. mouth when you yeah. cough. I mean, they say the masks don't work unless you're sick already from the flu or anything. You should wear one so you don't spread it anyway. Yeah. But, I mean... But definitely, you know, just... And then, you know, yeah, maybe not so much of the handshaking or anything like that. Yeah, just um, be cautious, guys. Just be cautious and safe, whether you believe it or not. Just... Yeah just there's flu season too so and then another thing too is you know just try to conserve a little bit and almost treat this like it would be um a drought or some type of situation like that you know yeah. um because we don't know how far this is going and we go don't know what's gonna happen it's going yet, to affect so. yeah so you know like let's just continue um to hope for the best mm -hmm. and take those precautionary measures. So hopefully you guys liked our little rant about the virus. I mean, yeah. we'll probably get some dislikes, but whatever. I mean, if you guys have any other suggestions, I mean, we don't want to turn this into a debate. That's not why we're doing this video. Um, but we just wanted to let you know that we are aware of the world around us and we don't always mention it on our videos. Um, but when it but gets this to is, this, this point, is something that's gonna, yeah, when it gets to people. this point, we just feel like we have to maybe just say our, our part a little. Yeah. So we're going to get it back out and do the rest of this mulch job. Um, and then we have an estimate to do after this. Right? Mm -hmm. So we're yeah. back. Rachel's blowing the sidewalks and stuff off of there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and edge this, weed eat it, spade it. Um, probably just run one strip with the mower here so Rachel can keep going. I have to mow this and this hill here. Um, so I'll go ahead and get this done. That way Rachel can mow it. I mean, Rachel can mow it.
sorry it's windy guys yeah she's taking a third off of it that's the rule of thumb you can take a third off there oh man it's really let me see if i get over here some it's real they're really scraggly um i'm gonna mark out these uh we need to edge it and then speed the beds real quick Guys, go. That one's done. Lawn looks good except for the dog ate it. All this is done. All the way around here. Nice, nice. Around there is done. All that's done. All this here. get you guys a view of the mountains. Then a house all the way up there. I want a house up there one day. That man was pretty cool. Everybody's out mowing. Look at that mower. <laughs> he waved. He's gonna be on YouTube. He's gonna be on YouTube. He he was getting it done guys getting it done right yeah. ain't nothing wrong with a husky mow okay so we're done we just went and got a couple things from the store after our quote yeah, so big job. big big job yeah but um it's nice because then maybe that one will replace one of our ones from up north that we gave away yeah. um because it's full service it's you know they want us to come in and maintain everything mowing so. and everything yeah mowing here where we work yeah, and they want to start getting grass. So, yeah, and it's actually not too far from one of our other clients, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. So, we do appreciate you guys watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. And be happy, guys. Or at least try. See Hope you. you have a good night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow.